What's happening, chess fans? Welcome to Net Chess and Chill. Today is episode number 99 of my Rapid Rating Climb series, and we are on a journey to 1,000 ELO. So, if you guys enjoy my content, please like and subscribe. Go follow my Twitch. I stream on the weekends now. And without further ado, let's get into today's game. Get some tunes on for you guys, and let's dive into this 10-minute pool. Um, played a game or so yesterday and got over 8, 840, which is pretty nice. Um, good luck, Lucas Diego. We're going to start with D4. We're going to play the good old London. All right, so my opponent immediately is challenging um, my opening. So I think... I think we want to play like this and maybe block in my light squared bishop I could do this but then they might have um, I mean maybe it's not the worst thing in the world for them to take and me take but then they win tempo on my queen um, so I could play this move I could play this move I could also develop my knight out. They're already taking me kind of out of my textbook London stuff. Um, I think I'm going to push for right now and block in my light squared bishop for now. It's probably not the best move. But he took, and so now my light square or my dark squared bishop can get out. Um, I think we'll continue to develop and um, get prepared for castling. All right, so they block in their light, their light squared bishop, which is definitely a move. So I can rock back or I can take... Um, I think we can just take and then I will castle. Um, I'm debating on whether I want to play a move like um, C4. Um, because then I could develop my knight this way. I don't know if that actually is that great. I think we'll just keep it keep it normal. Um, so it looks like he wants to push that. I can just take it though. So, don't know how good that is. I'm going to play this move. Defending my pawns. Giving my queen a road to potentially get out. So, I could play a4. Now that I look at it, it's not such a bad move. It's defended by my... We can get our bishop kind of activated. He can just develop, which is kind of annoying, but... Um... Taking a bad move. I don't know. 
develops his knight. If I let him capture, then I have this pawn here. I don't know if I really want to do that. I don't really have a way to recapture with anything else other than if I bring my queen up. <clears throat> um... Which, I guess, could be a move. Um, could also play a move like this. And recapture that way. Um, I think I'll just take... So he took with the queen. I can put my knight on this pretty cool square right here. Um, so... He takes, I take, he takes. That's not good. Um, I could play this to play that. Could just play this move. He takes, I take. Um, he could also then come into here, which is kind of annoying. Um, I think we'll play this move to play this move. We can rotate the knights in if that's what he wants to do. Definitely don't know if I want to push this pawn now because I don't really want to give him this square. But I might now take his knight and then recap and put my knight back. <clears throat> um, so I think I could play this move again. I think bringing my queen up is a good idea and I can get my rooks connected and activate them together so he's attacking this now for sure um I think we can play this move and maybe threaten the knight.
I could also probably have just... I can now push for sure. Um, I'm definitely losing on time, so I need to tighten up a little bit as far as that's concerned. So he's threatening to win this pawn. I could just push it, then he takes this pawn. A move like this defends everything. Then he can jump in with his knight. Then he could take this. So if I push this, I'm defending it. I think we can just do that. Now if he takes... I can take with the knight. I could also take with the pawn. I could also take with my rook. I think taking with the pawn is a good move. I also think that taking with the knight is a good move. If I take with the pawn, this is hanging. If I take with the knight, the queen needs to move again. I'm going to take with the knight. might do something stupid like that but the the knight is hanging right now so he just hangs his queen instead which is fine by me Alright, we played solidly, and we defeated our opponent. We are rated 850, that's awesome. Played with 85.9, 86% accuracy, that's awesome. One miss. So, let's see where our missed opportunity was. So, it was good how I opened. I was a little weary of what pawn to push, the E pawn or the C pawn. But I think we chose correctly, especially with how he played. He just kind of wanted to trade a lot. Um, developed the knight in. Then I played pawn to c3, just making a wall. Um, the best move is not a5. The best move is getting my knight in. But we eventually accomplished that. I threatened the rook. He wanted to trade. I took... This was a moment where I was like... Yeah, it was a little tough for me to see a better move than that, but I felt like this was a good continuation. Threatening the queen, she's got to move again. Now I can play move. Uh, that wasn't the best move. Just really solidifying my knight was a good move. Um, yeah, that was straight up a blunder. Um, I didn't play it correctly, so yeah, the pawn fork would have been ideal so my opponent gave me a way to, to you know get a decisive advantage immediately and I didn't see it so um 
anyways we're back and if anything black has an advantage now um i defend with my queen which was a good move they bring their knight in i bring my rook out which is not the best move this rook would have been better this one's kind of serving a purpose maybe over here um stopping that is the purpose so i i, I push in this pawn is a good move they take I take with the knight, which is the best move. I thought about it, um, and it's because there's really not a way to save their knight. Um, so yeah, it's just a hanging piece. So they did that. I took the queen. They take. I take. Um, I moved my knight here so that I didn't have to worry about this next move, which was the pawn push. And I was like, oh god. Queen's on the other side of a discovery, but you know, honestly, if they uh, if they take, it's not such a big deal. But I could also just take with my knight. So here they just resigned, um, and we played really well. It says like a 1250, so that's amazing. We're rated 850. Um, this is awesome. We're getting up there, halfway to 900. So this is great. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time.